Hello. The purpose of this video is to show you how to put in an action button into an open office presentation. To do that, you first have to put in a shape that you're going to turn into a button. So let's do that. We have down at the bottom, we have a menu there for basic shapes. And if I click on it, I can put in any one of these shapes. So I'm going to put in a rectangle. And to make that shape, you line up your crosshairs and you click on the mouse and you drag to the size and shape you want. And there's your shape. Now, you may want to put in some text at this point, so just go ahead and click on there and put in any text that you want. Now, we have to turn this into an action button. And to do that, there's two ways to do that. We have uh, down here at the bottom, there's this menu here that says interaction and then we'll click on that in a second. The other way to do it is to uh, have the shape highlighted and right click with your mouse on it and you can see interaction from the menu there. Either way is good and it'll get you to the same spot. So let's click on that and this pop-up window comes up and it says no action. Uh, that's its default. So we want to send this somewhere. We're going to say when I click on this button, what's going to happen? and you click the drop down menu and you can see all these different things you want. Uh, it can run a program, it can uh, play a sound, it can go to a, a do another document. The one that we'll likely use is this one here that says go to page or object. And when I click on this, all of the slides that are in the presentation pop up. And so I can send this to slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, and if I scroll down here, slide five. Let's choose that one. So I'm gonna select slide five and I'm gonna click OK, and that's it. So if I run the slideshow and I click on this button, it goes to slide five. Now, one thing to notice to make sure that you see this is notice as I move the mouse around, it is the typical arrow. But when I put it over the button, it turns into the hand. That tells me that there's something going on there, and that lets me know that the slide and the button actually work. And there we go. And that's how you put an action button into an open office presentation.